The question tonight, were there missed opportunities to stop the 9-11 hijackers at Logan? Some airport workers think so. Court documents show they claim to have seen at least one of the terrorists casing security at Logan months, months before the attack. And new tonight at 6 o'clock, News Center 5's Liam Martin is live at the 9-11 memorial in Plymouth. Liam? Heather, these documents were filed as part of a civil lawsuit from the family of one of the 9-11 victims. They contain claims from at least three airline employees who say they saw at least one of those terrorists at Logan Airport on May 11th, 2001. Four months before Mohammed Atta and Al-Qaeda agents began their operation, the morning of September 11th, multiple witnesses say they saw them casing security checkpoints at Logan Airport. They say they reported it and that nothing was done. Mohammed Atta was spotted on May 11th at uh, Logan. Brian Sullivan is a retired FAA special agent who had warned authorities of weaknesses at Logan. He says he was largely ignored. And now we know from these documents that he wasn't the only one issuing warnings. Wallace sees it. He um, is concerned. He, he confronts them. In May of 2001, an American Airlines technician says he witnessed Mohammed Atta and another man videotaping and taking still photos of the checkpoint for 45 minutes. When he confronted him, he says they swore at him in Arabic and walked away. He followed them and alerted a state trooper, recounting later, I said specifically, these two clowns are up to something. They've been taking videos and pictures down at the checkpoint. Nothing was done. They didn't stop out of They didn't ask for an ID. They didn't question him. Uh, none of that. So he's basically allowed to go through. Two other American Airlines employees say they witnessed Atta and another man casing the security checkpoint that they would later walk right through on their way to board Flight 11. When they reported it, they say they were effectively ignored by higher ups as well. Despite the fact, two or three weeks earlier, the uh, FAA had put out a warning that terrorists do do surveillance and people should note suspicious activity. And Massport has responded to these claims in the past. They cite an FBI timeline that shows that Atta was in Florida for the entire month of May, and in which case he would not have been able to be at Logan Airport on May 11th. And the 9-11 Commission report, which found no evidence that those terrorists specifically targeted Logan Airport. Live in Plymouth tonight, I'm Liam Martin, WCVB News Center 5.